Hey everybody, welcome to something. Zash and Joanna Price and Jasmine. Hello. <laughs> We're doing loud claps, y'all. Loud claps. Earth shattering uh, loud claps. Earth shattering loud claps. Ear ringing, <laughs> hand breaking claps. <laughs> uh, online with friends. Create a game. We gotta go back to El Dorado. The road to El Dorado. <clears throat> it's paved with gold. Uh, Is it? Anyone can see it anyway. <laughs> We're doing 7822. I hate when you go 7822 because then my brain doesn't work. What? what? In what for? 7,822. Yeah, I need like a 7822. I can't give you, I, you can't just be like oh. 78. I, I mean, thought you were saying that specific number. <laughs> and I was like, what is it about that number? I'm just Jasmine, like, my brain doesn't work today, all right? I'm laughing about claps. I've gone back to baby. And uh, let baby. me break yeah. it down for you. If you weren't aware, of what seven did to nine? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I am aware, in fact. I know. I know the dirty details. Do 7, you? 8, 22. Did you listen to the podcast? <laughs> let's, let's Which podcast? <laughs> that, you know, that murder podcast about 789? Mm hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> no. But it's not. Seven's moved on. Seven's graduated all the way up to 22 now. 7, 8, 22, y'all. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That's, oh my God. I that's hate rough. That. Poor 22. It's a serial killer. Mm -hmm. But it's like um, like the numbers and letters serial that you pour over with yeah. milk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that serial called? That is pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real serial. They've got letters serial, I'm sure. I don't know if I they're mean, number serial. I mean, it's alphabet serial. serial. There's alphabet, alphabet soup? soup. I don't know if there's cereal. No, there's alphabet cereal. Is there? Yeah. I look this up now. Why do you call it alphabets? I can't remember. When I'm I was a kid, now. definitely had it. Dro drop alphabets. those alphabets. They're chat, alphabets. alphabets. Drop your alphabets for chat. Um, do they have all 26 letters? They do. Yeah. Do they have exclamations? No. Whoa, it's just a, do they have question marks? I want a question mark. No, there's mark no punctuation. Mine. It's just letters. Yeah, How just dare. letters. <laughs> Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Yeah, I mean, you can nibble something, you know. Get into an exclamation. Yeah. Take an eye, bite the bottom off, and then put it right next to it. <laughs> it's a lowercase i now. Yeah. It's what an upside down lowercase i. Tell you. I want to go career. I want to be a bug hunter. Look at these like, bugs. That's cute. <gasps> I know we've done the cereal discussion the like 19 million times, so I'm not sure if we've done it with Enna. Enna, what's your cereal? I don't eat cereal. You like that magic spoon. I did, but I don't really eat cereal, so I don't have a favorite cereal. Oh my gosh. I'm but saying the cereal Oreo. that you did like I mean, Magic I... Spoons, that has to be your favorite. No, I guess when I was, when I ate cereal, mm -hmm. it was Grape Nuts. Okay. You are old. No, that's like yeah. me. I, I'm you put old honey, like that. You put honey and milk on that shit? <laughs> mm, it is good for days. No, it is not. What I was going to okay, say... Okay, it's not good for days, but I just really like it with What honey I was going to say about Grape Note is you need to consume it within 30 seconds. Otherwise, it becomes no. a texture that I find disgusting. Oh, I like it when it gets all mushy, <laughs> no, too. No, absolutely I like not. it hard and mushy. <laughs> no, thank thanks. you. No, thank you. Um... We didn't get a lot of, like, we just had healthy cereal all the time. Like, I think the most unhealthy thing we got is a one time we got kicks, like berry berry kicks, and my brother and oh. I like lost it because we're like, <gasps> I love kicks. They yeah. opened Pandora's yeah. cereal yeah. box. Literally, mm -hmm. just, remember the Rice Krispie treats? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cereal that I remember I had a bowl of that once, and that was great. It's good um, stuff. Back in the day, when I used to live with my grandpa, he would get not the mini wheats, the full wheats, like the like regular, oh, the big size, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, that 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 would be the thing. And now I think because of that, I really like frosted mini wheats. That's my go-to. I've like always liked frosted mini wheats. It's the it's the texture. It's a good <clears throat> texture. Um, I'm an Oreo O's man <laughs> myself, and so, a uh, Reese's uh, Puffs. I think both you and Rick have talked about these very desserty type, what I consider to be yeah. very desserty type cereals. I yeah. guess my question is, do you find yourself consuming that cereal mostly as a breakfast, or is it like a snack treat throughout the day? Uh, yeah, it just depends. It yeah. just depends. I eat it whenever it's it's cereal time. I mean, I usually eat it for a meal, like to replace okay. a meal. 
Because um, I'm sure I've seen some people be like, you know, cereal for me these days is just like I grab a handful and I just have it as like my little snack. Um, I'm a map maker now. I'm Tingle. <laughs> um, cool and pa. Cool and pa. But uh, but now I love I love me some some cereals. We're a cereal house. We probably have like five or six boxes sitting on the counter right now. Dang. <laughs> yeah. For for Jasmine, if it's not both kid tested and mother approved, Jasmine doesn't <laughs> want it. <laughs> well, no, I've been getting that protein one with the berries. It's really good. <laughs> I feel like that's primarily because they stopped selling kicks for whatever reason at our local grocery store. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's got to be a supply chain thing. It's got to be a supply chain thing. It's too popular of a cereal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone knows kicks. Right? I will say, for whatever reason, like, um, this is going to be cereal rant now. Frosted Mini Wheats, it has like nine different sizes that you could buy that cereal box in. With Kicks, there's only the one, and it's the giantest box that you can get. But it's only is that the true? one size. Yeah. You can't buy the small ones? Oh, yeah. Interesting. I think it's just the size of them. Like, it's not feasible to get smaller ones, or you're just going to get less. What I'm saying, like, for They're whatever reason. Like, I know with Frosted Mini I said nine. I know there's like minimum three. There's like so many different varieties that you could get yeah. it in. Um,. Whereas like kicks, there's only ever been the one size that I've seen. Now there's there's something like default cereal box, Whee! and then there's like large, and then there's family size, something like that. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Y'all, I'm a yep. bug hunter, and I'm riding a bug. Ooh, ooh. I feel like I've chosen my perfect um, yeah. profession. Yeah. I feel like you oh, find them, you guess, don't kill them. I guess you are a bug hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how does the bug you're riding feel about that? Like, is he gets that to bug? eat them. He gets to eat them. Bugs eat bugs. <laughs> bugs, bug life. Bugs, it's bugs are buggy snacks. bug world. Yeah. Shrimps is bugs. Shrimps is bugs. Well, that's true. That's shrimps is you can't bugs. Can't deny. You can't deny the shrimps is bugs. Ash, I'm sorry. <laughs> you put yourself in this really bad hole. Yeah. Well, he tried to go to college, but <laughs> took some steps he decided to build his computer twice. Wow. Is that what he I decided to go to grad school? This is one of those games where, like, if you asked me five seconds after I pressed OK on something, what I just pressed OK to, I could not have told you. <laughs> so I had no idea what I was pressing That's OK. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but shrimps is bugs. Basically. You know? Basically. basically. Technically, no. But basically, yeah. So sea bugs. I'll say before this uh, Canada trip, I was not aware of the Shrimps is Bugs meme. Um, How, what? No. I, shrimps I, is Bugs. I though. hadn't heard, I was not aware of it. And it became the motto of the entire trip because everyone mm -hmm. was just repeating it over and <laughs> over. And it's an old meme too, right? I don't know it was how a Reddit it post. It was a Reddit post about this guy who had this Shrimps is Bug tattoo. And he's like, I want to get it covered up. What do you think I should put? And everybody was like, oh. keep it. Because obviously it's the best. Bugs. It's amazing. Yeah. Because them's bugs. Mm -hmm. Shrimps is bugs. It, the other motto was hands are feet. <laughs> Which I feel like was a de-evolution of shrimps is no, bugs. No, no. It was literally because we were at the river and there was this dad that was like, they're doing push-ups over here, and they got their shoes on their hands, like hands as feet. <laughs> 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 they didn't want to get their hands dirty, or their, the ground was too harsh to put their hands in their shoes. It okay, made me laugh. That's, a, that's a fun, that's a yeah. smart idea, to be honest. I know, what but it, it was like, they were doing yeah, like push-up competitions. Yeah. Why even give me the option to take the loan? There's nothing else I could do. It just, it has to show you your shame. It has to <laughs> pretend like you were given consent. It has to <laughs> manufacture consent. Consent is very important, all right? Yeah. They can't what take the your money without consent, is? but they're going to take your money. <laughs> do, do, do. Candy bears are cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Hey, I'm a map join maker me. Too. Yeah, but I'm not using one of those protractors. You know, one, I don't know how they work, but two, it's too much fuss. <laughs> you just, just went for school it. for it. Just oh, eyeball gosh. it. Oh my god. <laughs> you just went to school to learn how to make maps, Ash. Yeah, but I learned the eyeball method, okay? Yeah, Did he went you? to school to learn how to make money and he failed. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just this is just like modern it's, schooling. It's, it's, right? the, you it's take the grad out four school. loans to go yeah. out of to get a it's, profession that doesn't pay. Yep, it's the grad school degree. That's mm -hmm. that's exactly how it goes. So close to taxes. <laughs> uh, I'll learn how to video edit. 
Will you? Yeah. I I'm like gonna, it. I'm going to edit these TikToks. Do it. Do it. Show me your badge. Show me your badge. Oh my god, we should play that again. It was so good. Into the back room. Back rooms is so good. Um, I don't even know if that's on the channel yet by the time this... It probably is. Back rooms has probably already come out by the time this one comes out. If not, they played the back rooms without me because I fell into the real back rooms. Price did fall into the real back rooms. Which was three cakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Price, how much? How many cakes did you guys eat? Did you guys eat a slice of each three cakes? Uh huh. How, how much uh, cake do you have left over? Okay, just between us and the YouTube audience, which one was the best cake? Uh, no, we still have cake. Um, there, there was a tiramisu cake, uh, and a cookie dough, uh, Boston cream cake. Whoa! Ooh. So fancy. Oh, I'll get a raise. Sorry, I didn't realize it was me. Um, so yeah, they're uh, they were good. We still have some. But so what was get the best it. one? <laughs> for me, I think for me it was the tiramisu cake. That sounds tiramisu good. Tiramisu is pretty good. Yeah. So it's not tiramisu specifically. It's like just cake with the flavors of tiramisu. The flavor. Of, yeah. I mean, that's still sounds fun. Yeah. Thank you, Ash. Just giving away all my money. Well, I didn't even go to college. I just started hunting bugs for fun as a hobby. Seems like, you know what? You turned your hobby into your career. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, almost like I did that in real life. Exactly. Yeah. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life is what is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. It is a lie. <laughs> you will work every day in your life. Yeah. In fact, you'll work more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Is the no one else getting married? I mean, I haven't reached it yet. I can't even Ash, make that choice. I can't afford a marriage. <laughs> you get paid to get married. You get pay Who's paying Ash to get married? Uh, everybody game. else that was invited. Yeah, in lieu of gifts. Oh. It's it's gifts in quotations. I think that's honestly an best kind of gift to get. Yeah, money, straight up cash. Money, money is good. You like, know, I appreciate when someone can think of a great gift for me if it's, like, sentimental or something like that. Mm -hmm. But if it's something expensive, just give me the cash. Crashed Plane Shelter is actually kind of cute, but I'm going to take this merchant That is cute. That's what I, like, I'll say that, uh, th and I, <laughs> if anyone's listening to this that came to my marriage and gave me a gift, uh, I don't mean any disrespect by this. <laughs> um, I mean, I think I did, so. <laughs> but my thing is, like, like Price was saying, <laughs> the most memorable ones are the ones that are kind of like mementos, and I can't remember everything that we put on our, like, our registry and whatnot, but my mm. suggestion to anyone getting married is put stuff that's kind of more mementos. Don't put, like, appliances on no, your... No, do put your appliances because you're going to have rich family members that buy it. Well, yeah, it's but, like, put stuff on there you if, if you have rich family members and want that stuff, like, if that's what you need. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, if you have stuff, rich family if you've already got stuff, like you say, then it's like, like, you know, I don't, I don't know how many people really got us stuff off our, but the one thing that I do oh, remember, our, man, our buddy, yeah. Nate Gray and his spouse Super got us tower. like this, like picture thing that every time I, I use it, I think about him. And I was like, okay, yeah, that, that's a thing that I remember. Why didn't I get those yeah. options? Anna? I have more money than you. Uh, listen, you were in the different part of the city and. It's true. I I bypassed the market. That. The market opened up when I started shopping. It's for true. I, I yeah. Started too early. Yeah, you gotta wait until two weeks after you want to just, start looking. Yeah. I want to try and get a bunch of raises. That's what I want. Let me land on every career spot. No, not an Anna spot. Unless but, that oh, takes me to I a like career that. spot. Well, look. If you are getting married, put whatever you want on your registry. Someone's gonna buy at least ah. one thing. Yeah, but mm. it, I mean, like, yeah. No, they're not going to buy everything, but they're going to buy at least one thing. Okay, no, you'll, but you'll get some of the stuff off of there. I'm just saying, you know, maybe just ask for cash. Okay, but here's here you go. Here is a thing that I did. So there's a website <laughs> where you can put a, together a registry for like whatever you want, but on the back end, it just gives you Still cash. My job. Yeah. Still my job. Yes. So then people f feel like they're giving you a gift. But you just get the money, and then if you want to get one of the things, you just buy it. Well, That's then another thing that Chrissy and I were looking into is actually um, you set it up so instead of people buying you things, they're buying you stuff like for your honeymoon or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, so that's, like, that's exactly, yeah. yeah, and then you just get cash, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Uh, that's yes. what I did. I would say, Price, you're probably oh, okay. hip to the, all the, the current registry apps and whatnot. I was going to say that me, uh, me trying to remember my registry apps are over a decade old at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, Back I had to call day, someone we on used the phone. The not.com, and, but it was oh. spelled K N O T, you know? Right. Like, oh right. my gosh, yeah. yeah. I sell that sucker. But I was really thinking about buying a sailboat, too. Yeah, but you got a chance to get the most for your buck. Do you have two houses? No, I have one. Look at that. Oh, Maxed out. One. Maxed out. Me that and my bug career. Yeah. You with your no college life. I didn't sell yeah. myself a debt. And then, you, and then you sell houses and make a ton of money. Yep. <laughs> I know a Let lot of people like that. Let me flip your homes. Yeah. <laughs> although, yeah. although I will say, just to everybody out there who like might be thinking like, yeah, I'll get my real estate license, I'll go make a whole bunch of money. It is not the time to be doing that anymore. Oh a lot God. of my friends who uh, were Ooh, real estate taxes. people. They're in a bad spot right now because well, people ain't buying houses. Yeah, because no one can afford them. Yeah. yeah. It's because the interest, like, this is, this is very adult talk at this point, but the interest mm -hmm. rates are so ridiculous at the moment. Yeah. Also, yeah. like, everything has gone up in, like, the last three years. It's it's not even, like, it's, it, you can't even do it anymore. It's so much. Yeah. I know. I've, I've been seeing a lot of memes uh, going around the TikTok lately that's like, the the comparison is no longer like, my parents bought a house in the 80s versus today, look at the difference. The comparison really is, my friends bought a house four years ago versus today. And yeah. it's a yeah. massive difference. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, go to jail, I've, I've, I've just kind of accepted that like, I'll never be a homeowner, um, unless somehow I make a bunch of like money, like a windfall of some sort, because... <laughs> It's just not realistic in my financial position and with the way that things keep changing. Okay, well, if I was this stable, like you say, five or ten years ago, <laughs> then maybe. Yeah, it's... Oh, we're... We're, we're doing. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I think you got it! <laughs> let's see. Let's Unless see. you roll a one. Wouldn't uh, that be great if there was like a zero that you somehow landed on? <laughs> yeah, but now me and Edda don't get any money because... It's true. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It's a crappy system. <laughs> oh, well. But I needed the cash. <laughs> You're welcome. I let you win. <laughs> I was like, he needs it. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to buy a house today. Um, yeah. Here's ten dollars. Go see a Star War. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, what what could a banana cost? Nowadays. Ten dollars? It's not far off, yeah. I was gonna say that arrested development joke is gonna age poorly probably in the next decade. And yes, or so. less yeah. and, less and less does it sound ridiculous for Lucille yep. to say that. Oh no! We just have to keep upping. What can it cost? A hundred dollars? Fifty dollars is probably about the comparison Accurate. to what she yeah. said. I would say. Yeah, because that was what originally filmed in like two thousand five, two thousand four or five, yeah, yeah, something like that. Man, man, man I know, oh, man. This is your life. Price, here's you did. here. Here's the thing, though. Mm. You could get a house if suddenly. Everybody then shared this video with 10 of their closest friends. Oh, and don't do it. it. Don't do it. And then they could get 10 of their friends to And then watch convince the video. all of their friends that they need to become a member, which is a thing you can do on our YouTube channel now. Become hey. a member. And if you can... become a member, you can get price a house. Exactly. This sounds a lot like the. <laughs> you just need to get ten of your friends to watch yeah. this video yeah, and that's make what their I said. friends. Is this is this video a crypto friends. coin? Like, like what's can, going on? Yeah. Can we set? Is there YouTube? Here's a brilliant idea. If there's a way to set up memberships in an MLM type structure, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> the people that first sign up get these exclusive emotes, and then they convince oh ten gosh. people to sign up, and they get some emotes. But there's maybe one that they don't get that their friends above them do oh get. Oh my gosh! Things, things like that, structure like that. I'm just spitballing here, YouTube. I'm giving out gold here. This is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like for real. That is what all of those uh, men's rights podcast people do, oh. or like the anti-feminist podcast people oh. literally do that, where it's like, oh, I'm going to, if you want to learn how to get women, then just listen to my free course. Come on over to my oh, free course. Like the course and then, there's like so, one yeah. video that's like for free, that's kind of like telling you what will be in the course. Yeah. And then here, go spend a bunch of money on this. I Dear was... people out there, if you listen to those people or watch those people, A, stop. They're horrible people. But uh, B, don't ever, ever give them money. 
because you will not get anything out of it. Why? They have a financial interest in making sure you never get a date because then you will keep buying things from them. They have no interest in actually all, helping you succeed at any of these things. All of those unaccredited online course things are usually scams, especially if they're being oh, yeah. pitched to you from an online podcast. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a great one the other day that someone was breaking down that was like this financial advisor trying to sell you oh, those on their ones course. Too. Um, those ones too. And it was the person pitching like, how do you get started? And I was like, okay, if you take my course and you start off with just a hundred bucks and then you follow the steps to earn like a 2% daily compounding interest, and then it should be very easy for you. And she glosses over the fact that 2% daily compounding interest is- Is ridiculous. Is absolutely ridiculous because the person that was reacting to this <clears throat> said, if you did that for just like six months or something, you'd have over a trillion dollars. <laughs> like, it was so not realistic whatsoever. Yeah, because it's exponential. It's, it's, you know, yeah, it's ridiculous. But I could have a trillion dollars though, Ash. <laughs> yeah. And I like it's, money. You know what it is? It's that thing that they teach you when you're like f six, where they're like teaching you addition or whatever. Maybe like yeah. when you're eight. And they're all like, you know, what if someone said they'd give you a hundred dollars or you could have one penny a day or one penny a day, but there, uh, uh, and then the next day you get two pennies, the next day you get four pennies and it just keeps on doubling yeah. every day. Which one <laughs> would you pick? And they use that as a way to be like, look, this is what exponential growth looks like, et cetera, et cetera. But it does not happen in real life. <laughs> it does not. It does not happen. There are no places where interest rates are that high. The only way you can have such a return is to gamble. And you shouldn't be gambling because there's a far greater likelihood you're just going to lose everything. Yeah. Oh, man. But this you is, this is our financial win. advice. Here's our financial advice. You got to get a job of some sort. You got to work hard and you got to make smart financial decisions because the world right now is really tough. That's true. Um, I've never made a smart financial decision. I know. Me neither. And it's also, hard. like, again, none of what we're saying is financial advice for you guys. Just it's our own uh, I ideals. But I'll also say that really all investing is gambling. So it is. Yeah. Pick yeah. that as well. Legalized gambling. I, guess Even, is legal too. I I have a 401k which is, I consider to be very safe and secure, but I'm also aware that like it's also like the, at any moment the stock market could crash and it would just be worth nothing. Yeah, like, just bottom um, up. I made a really good financial advice. Oh yeah, I, yeah, uh, or I did a financial decision. I bought a statue. <laughs> Yep, Majima. It was, it was that, that was, the was best. definitely yep. a gamble, and it paid <laughs> off. It was it was amazing. But I have that same statue. Oh my gosh! Here's the drawback. My bank now thinks every time I make a purchase, it's fraudulent, so my credit card constantly freezes. That's yeah, what Majima did to you. That's what Majima did to you. <laughs> But I'll say this, anyone that's laughing at Jasmine buying a very expensive Majima statue, like any anyone out there that's laughing, consider yourself, have you ever like dabbled in the stock market or the crypto market and have just walked away with nothing? <laughs> at least Jasmine has a Majima statue. That's true. <laughs> that's true. And it's it's a it's a damn good statue. It's a beefy statue. It is nice. Buff. It's, it's like the size of a of a small dog like it's really big it's yeah it's right <laughs> behind me i have majima i have my majima statue in the witnessing chair he's witnessing me always uh let's sell a vintage spoon sometimes if i take a selfie in my gaming chair he's back there he's back there wow. it's like when he's like everywhere in that game remember yeah. when he snuck into your picture Ki <laughs> yeah kiwami <laughs> Oh uh. my gosh. <laughs> speaking, okay, speaking of games, I wanted to talk about this. Hey, okay, so, because right you know, we play games. Uh, and we were talking about how in Dave the Diver, there is a streamer, Dragas, right? He's a streamer or is he a YouTuber? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. YouTuber, yeah. I mean, he's Both primarily a YouTuber, but he does stream now. Yeah. Um, but he has a cameo in Dave the Diver, and I'm like, that's really cool. One, two, how do I get in more games, right? Like that's that's what I want to know. So I want to know like if for even you in the comments, let me know like if you had an opportunity to be in your dream game, like what would that be and what would your well, like NPC look like? You know, I, like I assume that this worked the same way yeah, that it, it has worked for yeah. uh, 
Oh my god, look at this llama. We, Stumped has been in several games, and whenever that has happened, <clears> it's <throat> usually like right, like a month or so before release, it feels like the dev reaches out to like a bunch of YouTubers, and was like, hey, would you like to be in our game? If so, can you provide us some like sprite assets and stuff like that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we get like a little character of ourselves in the game. Um, it's fun. I, yeah. kind of, I kind of assume that that's what they did with Trey. Look, Anna just wants to be in Day of the Diver, okay? Yep. It's yep. true. That's true. But I also, my dream would be Yakuza, right, Jazz? We yeah. Got, we'd be in Yakuza as we a side a, mission. We got to so apply for the contacts, or the contests. I was going to say there was, yeah, like Price mentioned, there was some wrestlers in the most recent one, right? There's yeah. so mm -hmm. many wrestlers in them. Yeah. yeah. Literally Ikeni every Omega. every mini game in which you're, like, fighting other, like, people, it's wrestlers. So yep. I think that what this is showing you, if you really want to be in Yakuza, <laughs> you got to get into gotta wrestling. Go. You gotta All right, go, Jazz, let's go. Go well, sign I mean with New Japan Pro Wrestling. <clears throat> All right. Get to the level at which you're, you know, say in uh, like the never open weight tournament or something like that. And then, you know, from there, get into the game maybe. If you just reach the level of Kenny Omega, who is one of the best wrestlers in the world. Or Hiroshi Tanahashi, uh, a staple of the Japanese wrestling scene for like two decades. He's like the okay. John Cena of Japan. You know, become that level. And then you're totally okay. in well, I, I mean, Like as two Westerners entering that scene, they would have to be the heels, right? So they just have to become very, yeah. very popular heels. I think. Oh, there's I'm plenty already of the, the heel of Stump, so it works yeah. out. The, well, I mean, usually that's you come in and you're like the 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 badass gaijin essentially is what they you know refer to you as <laughs> um but yeah usually the villain <laughs> the badass gaijin well, i mean like you could also just be really popular like uh there's a couple streamers like a a vtuber named vampy she's in it and then raul hmm. coley who's an actor who loves yakuza's in it so yep. i feel like there's possibilities for us other than being a wrestler Pos yeah. Possibilities? Possibilities. It's become yeah. the most high profile Yakuza players. But We're I, working I, on it. That's not as entertaining to me, Jazz. Let's go down <gasps> this wrestling <gasps> route. Frog? Play, play with me in the wrestling space for just a moment here, Jazz, all right? I don't want to. <laughs> 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 no. Play with me in the wrestling space. I, I'm not that, going in mm, there. No. Mm. Once again, take the, your bedroom talk off of our life. Anna, <laughs> Anna's clearly going to be the heel. Anna's going to be the most evilest villain ever. Yeah. Is going to steal the belts away from people and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And um, Anna, we're going to tag team it. Anna, the belt yeah. collector. I, I'm trying to figure out your persona. Are you just like, I'm, what do you what do you do, Jazz? I'm Anna's right Jess, hand what do man. You do? Yeah. Are yeah. you like a manager valet or no. are you you're a wrestler? You're a tag team in it. We're a tag team wrestler. All right, all right. Did I get nothing? I, this, is the this is the third time in a row where I've sold a house and I've only got 10K. <laughs> I'm upset now. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I'm still pretty far <clears throat> out, so there is some time. I'm, I just want those puzzle pieces. Do you? Good call. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> uh. No. No. Nothing. No I mean, you have pieces. a good chance for it. So yeah, really I think, I think I'm still far behind. I think I'm even farther. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, not well, anymore. Not long. Woo! Oh, you yeah. were right behind me. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, so. Yes. What game would you want to be in? Because we all know that Jazz and I are going to be in Yakuza one day. Um, I Baldur's would, Gate. Um, I would like I mean, if they ever made like a Sonic Mania two. I would love to be in a in a in a two D pixel art Sonic game. That would be my okay. Game. Well, what what would it what would that look like? Like, what is the NPC? Ooh, I would love to be one of Doctor Robotnik's minions. I would love but to be a could be boss. like a, like look like a crash test dummy. You know? <laughs> An ash test on me. If An you ash will. test on me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you saying, Price? Ash, you're not going to use your Sonic Sona? I don't have a Sonic Sona. <laughs> I bet there is one. Look like, it up. Everyone that has Sonic Sonas, I they're the ones Sonic. that love the 3D Sonic games. I hate the 3D Sonic games. There really is like a Sonic <clears throat> realm that is pre shadow and post shadow. Yeah. I feel like that's really what mm -hmm. it comes down to. Because if you're a post shadow the hedgehog person, then you like the the 3D world stuff, and the other stuff is just like, eh, whatever. What is it but. supposed to type in? It's Ash and then the Sonic? Sonic, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, there is a, a bear. Lot. There literally is a bear. Whoa, oh it is Ash. No, actually it's a mongoose. <laughs> Wait, is this canon though? 
All right. Is it? So we've all answered except for Price. Price, what game would you want to be inserted into? Uh, slime Rancher. Of course. Slime Rancher. Would you want to be a slime? I mean, if they could make a price slime, that'd be great. Like a money slime, like a dollar slime. Oh, you know? that's good. That Wait, would work for me. Is this an actual canon character, Ash the Mongoose? Is it really? That'd be awesome. Like in the cartoons or something? or I think in the comics. There's two. There's two. Mm. Oh, and it's, it's perfect because it's yellow. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess we did just find out who you are. Yeah. In the <laughs> apparently, yep. apparently, I'm already in there. You're already in there. Yeah, they've already inserted me in there without my knowledge. The I mean, at least okay you're not with. like, at least you're not like a person. You know, when they just sneak in a human being into Sonic next to all the critters, it's like no one wants to be that person. Mm -mm. It's like being the only person in a Muppet movie. My thing again, this is like going to sound very back in my day type of thing. Um, but back in my day, uh, well, I used to read the Sonic comics, and even back then, it felt like they didn't have nearly as many characters as they do now. I just don't know so many of the side characters that I feel like were introduced in the 3D games, and then I feel like after that, were inserted into the comics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, probably. I mean, I mean it's, like it's just constantly, like, being, like, it's just constantly growing. Yeah. And yeah. all the people that made Sonic Sonas, they are now working on the comics and putting their Sonic mm -hmm. Sonas in there. And it's just, it's just I Sonic's cycle. all the way down. The I Sonic just, cycle. I think the only new Sonic product that was really for me was Sonic Mania. I'm so mad that apparently they, that team left uh, Sega with on bad terms. So like they're not mm, probably not going to get they're another not one. Gonna, they're oh. not ever going to make another one. Apparently that team is making another like pixel art platformy game, just not using the Sonic IP. Um, mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I uh, I did <coughs> like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Um, so, like, the first 3D ones that they made. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, it felt really cool. Yeah. And, I, you know, so I think part of it is also, A, aging out. Um, but I think there's also a level of B, you know, no shade but a little shade. If you look at the reviews for all the Sonic games, I don't think it's that far off. Um, the quality went way down after that. For mm. at least for a while, if not still, but the quality was way down for the all the 3D ones after that. Like, just go back and look at reviews. Um, they're buggy and just missing some of the soul. Yeah. But apparently they've started to get better again, right? Uh, the the newest one I heard was a little eh, just because um, what was it? It was the first open world one they've tried to do, and I, I heard this like okay on most platforms, but they released it on Switch, and apparently on Switch it's like a nightmare mm. because like things pop in like crazy, like it's just the Switch is not yeah. nearly powerful oh, enough sorry. to do open World games like just, that. Yeah, just the worst. You That's know what's bad. the last good Sonic game that I still haven't played? What's that? Is that the one where Sonic gets murdered? Oh yeah! All I want right. to play that so bad. Right. That's the uh, visual, visual novel, novel right? one, right? Yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Sonic's dead. Da -da. That's, that's an official canon game, by the way, y'all. Yeah, we're not, we're not making know. that one up. I mean, it's like when they killed Superman Is and they'll bring him back. Yeah. 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 He was never really dead. I mean, Superman was. It was but, just yeah. a dream. <laughs> oh, man. That just reminds me that none of y'all saw Justice League, right? Nope. I did. No. I, you did? I Yeah. I eventually watched whatever the, the Schneider's Cut was. The one. Snyder Cut? Yeah. yeah. Snyder Cut was better. It's also like six hours long or something. It's super uh, long. I had to watch it in like three in different chunks. cities. And it's yeah. made in chapters. Like literally it has like an intermission yeah. at one point, I think. But uh, uh, it just reminds me of like the, the death of Superman in that. Like they really just wanted to fast track the death of Superman story. Uh, I would say it's, it's not even memorable because I can't even bring it to my mind right now. Right. So what happens is they're like, oh, no, we need help. And so they go... And like, they use some stuff to like revive uh, Superman, but like when he comes back, he's he's not fully there. His brain's not fully there because he's been dead, you know. So then he fights the Justice League, and then he goes flying off, and then he comes back later to save the day. And it's just like that whole comic series yeah. was so bonkers <laughs> because they tried to introduce like 10 other supermans in order to like you know freshen up superman before they brought him back um and then he came back with a mullet and they didn't put a mullet on um uh what's his name cavill so you mm -hmm. know come on he needs to be mullet superman or not at all apparently 
I haven't. I definitely haven't watched um, the Flash. The Flash. But like, ooh, uh, you beat me. Nope, he has loans. Oh, I have loans. loans. <laughs> the loans. Sorry. <laughs> um, apparently, they CG'd a bunch of the uh, like oh, yeah. old super people into the Flash, and apparently, they look terrible. I've saw. I haven't seen it. Yeah. I've seen a picture of Henry Cavill, and it's like, like it looks like AI. It looks like AI. You asked AI. It probably to make, is AI. I don't yeah. know. It looks so bad. Anyway, you know, and that. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying it probably is AI because they probably yeah. don't care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what I will say, though, about that from what I've heard is they do show Nicolas Cage as Superman, which those who don't know, he was originally supposed to be Superman in the 90s when Tim Burton was going to do a Superman movie after the Batman movies. Um, and I think that there's actually a, a, a documentary about it called like The Death of Superman or something yeah. like that. But yeah. Um, uh, so he's in that full he's mullet the... glory and apparently fighting a giant <laughs> spider, which was the plan for that movie. And it's part of why the movie didn't get made because everyone thought it was a horrible idea, but the producer would not let go. He was like, it has to be a spider. Anyway, <laughs> oh, y'all, if you could cast us to be in a video game, which video game would that be? Mm -hmm. Let us know down those comments below. Anyway, y'all, with that, we've been stumped. I'm a natural man of price and Jasmine. We'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.